working with a decedent is such a small aspect of this career. You're really working with people and supporting them through very difficult times in their lives. When somebody asks me, what do you do in funeral service, my response is usually, what do we not do? The program at Wayne State started in 1939 and we've operated continuously since then as the only mortuary science program in the state. Throughout that time, we've graduated generations of funeral directors who have gone on to serve their communities with distinction and care. We train in all different areas of um, the curriculum, which include merchandising and marketing. It includes some of the accounting principles that they're going to need in the business world, as well as the restorative art and embalming um, and counseling aspect of the field too. There's not one thing that's interesting. The whole program is interesting. It teaches us everything that we need to know to be successful funeral directors. We try to take our students from beginning to end. The first semester is really focused on anatomy of the face and the skull. And then second semester we move into more practical applications about how to take someone that might not have perfect proportions anymore because of an accident or disease and bring them to a more viewable, presentable condition. Every semester of the program, students are placed in a funeral home, and that um, funeral home location will rotate every semester, and so it's not just in the classroom in theory, they're actually seeing it in practice. We have some very flexible options for students to take the program. Students can be fully traditional students where they take all of their courses here on campus in the classroom. They can be fully online students where they can take all of their classes online from home. Or they can have a hybrid schedule where they take some courses online and some here in the classroom. The part-time program really helped me establish my life, my career, and still fund my payments for school. I'm a full-time student and I'm also a mother and a wife. So figuring out the work-life balance was difficult. So you need to really be a motivated student to see it through. We have people that come to our program with experience in funeral service, a lot of experience in funeral service. We have people come to our program with no experience in funeral service. And I think that it is our responsibility to make sure that everyone gets that kind of individual attention they need to make sure that they all do well on the national board and achieve their goals. We have a lot of fun, but it's also serious when it needs to be serious. and. You can really count on your professors and your classmates if you need help or someone to talk to, then they're always there to help you with whatever you need. We're family. We're such a close-knit group of people because the program is so small that um, leaving here, graduating, I know I'm going to have people everywhere across the state that I can lean on when it's all said and done. If what you want in your life to be is to be helping others and, and you're interested in the sciences, then I, I challenge you to think of a more rewarding career to be able to, to give someone back to someone to say goodbye.